So the other day I was playing with the horse wrench pack with my sim and their horse magic and I saw on the far back of the map there's actually one rental property on a 20 by 15 lot built by sim proved but I thought to myself why not build my very own rental home just to see what I can do with the new items from the new pack and just have fun with it. And so today I am building a rental property with one bedroom, two bathrooms, and pretty much everything is open plan on the first floor. But I do want to say thank you to EA for providing me an early access copy of the horse ranch pack. So I have to say going into this build, I didn't really know what I really wanted. Like I had a general idea, like a one bedroom, two bathroom, but didn't know what all the items were like until I started using them. But as soon as I opened up Debug, and if you don't know at this point, I love, like love Debug more than anything, and I'll use it like crazy. But when I opened up Debug for the Build and Buy for the Horse French pack, I was in seven heaven. Because the fact that we have, you know, we can paint our ceilings, we have free build cam, all in base game, by the way. But we have like new debug items that we haven't seen before in the previous like packs and base game updates that this is allowing me to try a new build style, even though to me, it looks like a nether suburban home that I built, which normally that's what I usually build. But I try my best to expand my horizon of like, what can I do differently? And I decided to make the entire house open floor plan minus the bathroom and of course the bedroom and bathroom upstairs. But I really wanted to experiment with open floor plan, have a little sunroof in the middle of the kitchen slash dining room in the top part of Chestnut Ridge. Now, the original rental home that was built in this world was made by Simproved, and I'm pretty sure that Simproved made a video about it, and if they did, I will link it down below in the description. But personally, I live for new stuff. Whenever we get a new like pack or kit or base game update and it includes new build items, I'm like, what can I do with it? How can I utilize it differently? And honestly, it's always good. So my recommendation is that this pack for build and buy is a 10 out of 10. I would just love more stuff because the more the merrier, but the stuff that we got in this pack for build and buy is so worth it. Now for me, I'm primarily like a game player, storyteller, you know, builder. That's what I usually do. And honestly, at first I was thinking for this build to like turn into a residential and not make it a rental, but rental properties are like a new thing that they add into the game when we got Snowy Escape, where now we can vacation literally anywhere in The Sims 4 and that rental lot type is base game. So I'm liking the idea of like turning one singular world into a vacation world like Sulani or Tartosa, but having different rental homes in different worlds, like maybe one or two lots, maybe three lots rental properties. That way your Sims can like vacation there for a couple of days and just have a fun time exploring the world, meeting the townies, see what they can possibly do, and maybe even think of moving to the new town since they vacation there. It kind of builds onto the story of saying you vacation the, somewhere one time that you want to actually move there. Like one time when I went to London, I was like, I want to move there. I love the environment. I love the people. I have friends there. And it just seems so nice. And then I realized, you know, moving is a lot of money and a lot of work. So in The Sims, I'd rather do it here because it's free and it's cheaper. And honestly, it's just, again, great time to vacation pretty much anywhere without having paying real money. Now, with the base game update, we had a lot of new additions to base game, like new floor tiles. We have free build cam. We just have like new like decor that we haven't had before and especially adding in, you know, new door swatches. Like I love stuff like that. So like, I'm hoping that in the future that we do get more free base game updates that include a different, you know, variety of things like different doors, different windows, different curtains. Like what I'm longing for is different curtains that match the window frame because we do technically have two windows, but one's like an awning and one's like a curtain, but it doesn't necessarily fit the other windows that we have in the game. And now granted, of course we could use all base game stuff, but like I would like some type of like country Western style curtain that fits the windows that we have now with horse ranch. So I'm like, I don't know. That's just like my general, like one little, you know, tidbit criticism that I would love to see is that 
having different types of window frames, I wish we had different curtains that fit those frames, if you know what I mean. Now, personally, I did not know what I wanted on the inside because I am not a big fan of open floor plan because I don't know how to decorate. But also when I see open space or like a corner that's like empty, I'm like, how can I fill that corner or that space with clutter or like a plant? I will do literally anything. So I really tried my best to really not overly clutter. I really wanted to keep it very simple, easy, kind of quote unquote clean cut. That way your sim can walk around, but also allows you to decorate how you want to decorate. Now, this house does have pretty much everything your sim needs. I wanted to include the nectar making machine in on the side of the house, just so your sim can make some nectar, age some, you know, lovely nectar for some money, but also adding in a dance floor. Now we do have a new dance like style called, I think, country line or something, line dancing. Oh no, it's cow poke dancing. And I wanted to add in a dance floor, like the smallest one in this like house since it's open floor plan, just to see what your Sims do. Because we do have like this little like lounge space in the world in like the main center, New Appalachia, built by Chrissy YT, by the way, very talented. I'll link the video down below if you want to go see how Chrissy made that little lounge. It's very good. There is like a little cow poke, you know, dance you know, thing in the middle of the build that looks really good. I do like it, but sometimes Sims are very introverted and I didn't really want to have a way where Sims who are introverted or do not like meeting people who are like loners and don't like crowded spaces, but do like the idea of dancing and like let in loose a little bit. I wanted to include that into this build. And honestly, I know I'm an introverted person, so I don't like going out into places that are very crowded because I get very overwhelmed, but I also have like a social bar of a Sims 1 Sim where I can talk to people that I know and love and cherish, but then after a couple hours, I will literally deplete to zero and want to go home. So I want to be able to kind of replicate that of my own personality and my just identity into this build just to see what I can do. And I have to say, some of the build items I can see myself using pretty much 24 seven. Like I love the little end table thing that I added near the two chairs by the stairs. Like that looks, that's really good. I really do like that little table. Um, I would say that like a lot of the times I do have a hard time figuring out how to decorate bathrooms. And even though we didn't really get a lot of like quote unquote new bathroom items, we, in a way we did, like we had like a mud room, you know, shelf type of thing. We also have like a bathroom cabinet that we could use that had towels already on it that looked really cool. I didn't include it into this build, but another build that I did, I remember doing something. Either way, I will like link all the videos that I have thus far and also a playlist of all the horse ranch builds that I've done for this specific pack. Cause I've built probably, you know, about like six builds when I had early access of this pack, like I kind of went a little bit too crazy. I did way more building than gameplay because I was too obsessed with all the things that we were getting that I wanted to test out all the possibilities and really go full ham with it. And I only really see one sim like actually vacationing here, let alone like two. If you do have two sims here, you might have to rearrange the bedroom. But I think at this point, your sims can actually like scoot on the bed to one side to the other side. So we should be okay. But lo and behold, if you have one sim, good. Two, somebody's gonna be sleeping downstairs on that little armchair cause it ain't gonna be, ain't gonna be my sim. That's for sure. But I think like, I don't know, Nectar making has an interesting like fun memory for me because I remember playing a lot of it in The Sims 3 with World Adventures because World Adventures came with nectar making and the skill. If you go to, I think, France in The Sims 3, you're able to go pick up your nectar and also like kind of squash it down below in the basement in the building. And I think it's like on the far back lot on the right in that world. But Nonetheless, nectar making has been one of my all time favorite things to do in this pack thus far, because once you make it and you have it aged for a while, for a couple sim weeks or a couple sim days, it's like really, really good quality. 
you make so much money. So my pro tip of what I've learned is that if you put your nectar in the basement and you squash your nectar in the basement, your nectar will, you know, age a little bit better, but also your nectar making skill will, you know, increase faster. So I did not put the nectar making machine down here because I know there's like either it's a glitch or it's just like something you just can't do. But whenever I put like a basement near the foundation, some weird terrain glitch happens and I don't like that. So I, I tend to avoid to build basements, but now I have a purpose to build them and I really want to go hard with it and just see what I can possibly do. So maybe like the next few builds you'll see, like not the ones coming up, but you know, in the future, you'll see a lot of builds that I have added in a basement specifically for nectar making. And I am for sure 100% going to be making a nectar, you know, building and have a nectar empire. I'm going to be rich. My sins are going to be rich in the Sims 4 with the nectar making skill. And I am 100% gonna make it happen but i'm gonna go ahead and go in the game and show you the house in real time to do a little bit of a house tour because speed builds are way too fast and i think a slow down real time version is way easier and less confusing so i have to say for this build specifically i'm really proud of what i did because normally when a new pack comes out with new build items new build features and everything i kind of go crazy with like debug landscaping interior design exterior design the whole nine yard but I wanted to keep it very minimal with this one and I'm glad I did what I did and kept my word of like open floor plan on the first floor minus the bathroom and very minimal landscaping. Now granted the outside looks a bit crazy but that was like kind of the idea that I wanted to go for without going too over the top with landscaping and over the top with like built items. And even though I only had base game and the horse ranch pack I think that kind of triggered my brain to saying hey you don't have everything. Keep it simple. Keep it plain. And so I did. But I love that I mix and match like the dry tall grass with like the regular tall grass. But I also wanted to add in a lot of the prairie grass that your horses can actually eat. But you can also harvest for yourself for your horses to feed them if you so please. But I wanted to add in the new grill that we got along with like some planter boxes and a picnic table. And then on the side of the house, I added in like a nectar station. That way you can make your nectar, squash it up with all your fruit, your potatoes, your trash, whatever you have, and then keep it in your basement to age. Even though there's no basement, you should make a basement in The Sims 4 because that way your skill goes up, your nectar is stored way, way better, and it might age a little bit faster. But once it's aged, you can actually sell it for more money to Roberto Crinkletop, who may or may not be related to Agnes or as an ex-husband of Agnes Crunklebottom. Now, if you know, you know. But I want to be able to add in the nectar station over here with a lot of like crates that already have nectar filled in it, kind of insinuating the idea that people who come here have already made nectar and stored it there for other sims to, you know, drink from. But it's more like a decor type of thing that I want to add for a personal touch. Then I added in like a, an observatory telescope, the smaller one. That way, if you ever want to kind of look at the stars at night when you're in Chestnut Ridge, it will be kind of, a, kind of a good gesture to say, hey, I love the stars. I love space. I want to see what it's like in a new world, in a new location. Now, now for the inside, I wanted to keep it very open floor plan because it was on a small lot, 20 by 15, not much space. So I kind of separated a little bit of the kitchen and kept it very small with adding in like a little stove, a little microwave. I also added a TV because there was no way in chance a living room would fit in here. I tried, but it was not going to work. But luckily your Sims can actually sit here and still watch the TV if they wanted to. So I added the TV over here by the sink with the little fridge on the side. And we have a little dining room table over here. We have a little fake reading room, living room area with the new fireplace. And I have to say, I hope we get more fireplaces like this because this one is so fancy and it's so cool. And like even the swatches themselves are pretty cool and very minimal. Like this black one, top tier, love it. But like the green, the blue, the red, the white, the little tan, the like... Hello? They really went ham on the world and the build items, and I'm glad they did what they did. And I hope they don't stop because eventually 
the more that we kind of see what we like and don't like and give our criticism and feedback, the more that they'll change and add new things and like really push themselves to like try new guilt items that we haven't seen before in a different style, if that makes any sense. But lo and behold, I love this fireplace. Now for this bathroom, I'm not really sure how to describe it because I'm not really good at bathrooms and I'm really experimenting with my bathroom design, but I used the new sink that we got along with some of the new wall decals that we got as well, just to add some, you know, touch to where you go poop. But then for the upstairs, I really liked how small this area was because I wasn't gonna add in a secondary bathroom because it just didn't make any sense. But since it is a rental property and I thought you walk upstairs, that's where you sleep, that's where you change your clothes, and then you have like your main bathroom. So I added like a, a toilet from base game, the new sink that we got, and also a tub from base game as well. And these rugs, oh my gosh, I love the rugs in this pack. They are so nice. I really love this one specifically, but I also love that one. And then the one in the bedroom with the little sheaves and the cacti with the little, you know, hill are really cute. It's made for like a kid's bedroom, but I like the idea of having different styles of rugs. So whoever made the art for this pack deserves a raise. I'm just saying, and I will say it every time for a new pack, every art, you know, designer, producer, whoever who makes the art and approves it should get a raise because look at this. I love the art. Whoever makes it needs a raise. Hello. Like, I do like the idea that we have a horse little one. We have like a little farm area. We have like the sheepies. We have the other parts of like the mountains and the ridges of the horses on the side. It's giving very spirit vibes. And I do like the idea of like the movie spirit. And I like that they capture that vibe of that movie with this pack. But lo and behold, this is the entire build. I do like what I did. I want to do another build similar to this, but make it a little bit more different with one floor and one floor only, just to see what I can do with the new items and new build features. But I did want to mention that I did actually paint the ceiling of this build. So if you go into free build cam mode, which is actually part of base game now, if you press tab and you look up, you can see the ceiling is completely different. And I love that we can finally do that. We've been asking it for almost nine years and we finally have it. But the way to do it, if you don't know how to like paint your ceiling without having to go into free build, if you go to your build mode right here and you click on the floor and then you go over here to ceiling by tile or ceiling by room, if you click either or one of them, it'll take you to this feature right here and you click on your floor and it'll show like this. It may look like you're already on the second floor, but essentially it's like the cutaway of the second floor floor underneath, if that makes any sense. But essentially this is how you kind of paint your ceiling. And I like the idea of that, which you know, now that I think about it, I'm gonna paint my ceiling over here for the bathroom and also for the bedroom and the other bathroom too. But that's how you basically paint your ceiling if you wanna do it that way or the other way, but it's more easier and more convenient to do it that way than what I showed you by looking up above in tap mode. But that's the whole house, this is the whole thing. And this is actually the back part of where you can go to your nectar making if you go through the little dining room part. Go back here, nectar making. Bada bing, bada boom. But either way, if you do want to download the house for yourself, it's up on the gallery right now under the hashtag Spring Sims, or you can search my gallery name Spring Sims. Either way, it's always up there, just like my other builds and sims that I create all the time. But however, I do hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below of what do you thought of today's build, especially if you've ever played with horses in The Sims 3, or today, since you now can get the horse wrench pack for yourself on any platform. But as always, I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.